Kia ora koto and welcome to Role Player in about three minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for one to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are a group of D&D gamers sitting down to roll up your characters. Can you manipulate your dice rolls and adjust your character sheet and backstory to produce the cheesiest and strongest character possible? The game ends once all 18 dice slots on your character sheet are full. The winner is the player who has the most points at that time, and you get points from your character class, backstory, alignment, armor, and traits. Drafting. Each turn you will draft dice and upgrade cards. Set collection. You'll want to get the right colored dice in the right places. Dice manipulation. Not only do you draft dice, you can mess with them. Player turn. Start the game by selecting a player board, then take one character class card. This has a special ability printed on it. It also shows your class color and you score one point for each die matching that color. On the left are your stat goals and how many points each is worth. You also have a backstory which shows where you get extra points for placing specific colored dice on your board. And finally, the last bit is an alignment card. Grab six to eight dice based on player count and roll them. Then assign them to your character sheet starting in the leftmost spaces. Any gold dice assigned give you two coins. Start the turn by drafting dice. There should be one more than the number of players. Place them from highest to lowest on the tiles, with the starting player deciding ties. The middle tiles will have coins on them. In turn order, take a die of your choice and the coin if applicable. The card you pick determines turn order until next round. Place a die on your sheet, and if it is a gold die, claim two coins. If the die finishes an attribute group, gain one coin. Then, based on where it is placed, you can do optional special actions. For strength, turn one die over to its opposite side. Dexterity allows you to swap one die with another. Constitution lets you add or subtract one value from any die. Intelligence lets you take a die out and re-roll and replace it. Wisdom moves your alignment marker one space in any direction. And Charisma gives you a one coin discount in the market phase, which is next. In the new turn order, each player may draft one card for the market. Market cards include weapons, armor sets which give more points the more you have, traits which let you score more points if you meet their conditions, and skills. Market cards cost one or two gold, as shown by the small dots on their top right. Alternatively, you can remove an item from the market and gain two coins. Skills work by moving your alignment marker, and you can use them once per turn, but only if you can move that marker. Some traits when purchased also move your alignment marker as shown. For the next turn, the player who picked the lowest card is the start player. Why would you like this game? Roleplayer takes the idea of rolling up a character in Dungeons and & Dragons and turns that into the game itself, which is a remarkably clever idea for a game. It also makes teaching it to D&D players quite easy. As a dice drafting and placing game, it's pretty solid with plenty of levers to pull to adjust the dice you get. The market cards also give you different options for scoring and adjusting your dice, and in many ways are just as important as your dice placement decisions. All up, a relaxed dice placement game with lots of options, suitable for a group who likes puzzles and low levels of confrontation. The best thing about this game is the action you get when placing a die. It's a really good decision point and where roleplayer shines. However, roleplayer has limited interactions between players, and while there is the idea you are rolling up a character, it really is just a puzzle game. And I find the end game remarkably unsatisfying. Checking multiple point sources to see who's won, and yet the characters we've made don't really feel that interesting. For a more focused dice placement game, try Sagrada. And if you just want to make fun characters, try Call to Adventure. Role player, what a good Munchkin game looks like. A reminder that 3 Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.